Hey everybody, this is Adam Bentley, and today I want to briefly discuss how I go about routing GGD in Pro Tools to be used as a multi-out, so that you can have multiple tracks for the different elements of your kit, and you can process them individually. So as you can see, I have contact loaded up, and I already dropped in GGD, and it's in its default state, as well as the output section, it's also in its default state. So what I'm first going to do is make as many tracks as I want to separate the kit into. I like to separate it into six pieces. So I'm going to make five extra tracks, instrument tracks. And I'm going to go ahead and name these. So the goal for me is to get six tracks in the contact mixer to be routed directly to these six tracks in Pro Tools. So what I'm going to do now is add channels. I'm going to add six. Number of channels, two, meaning stereo. One would be mono. And I'm going to have the host output be the first one and ascend from there. That's what that check box means. So the next one will just be cascading upward. And if you don't want to have to do this again, you just check make this your default configuration and delete existing channels. So now you see we have six stereo tracks routed with their own respective output, stereo output. Now I'm going to name the tracks in here to correspond with the tracks in Pro Tools. All right, now what this means is one and two will be stereo one, three and four will be stereo two, all the way to stereo six. And the reason why that's important is because what will happen is you'll go to the input section of the following instrument tracks in your session. And under plugin, you'll see your contact five option, and you'll see your possible input sources. So this next channel titled snare, if I use stereo two as the input source, that'll be the snare track that will be routing through contact. So what I'm gonna do now is cascade the inputs so that I can have stereo two through six on the next tracks. And the first track will already be defaulted to stereo one because that's the track with the uh, actual instrument plugin on it. Sometimes when you're first setting this up, you'll see that the plugin outputs aren't matching or the naming's different or it's not cooperating. So in that case, you'll have to just close your Pro Tools session and reopen it once you uh, did the changes in the contact mixer. And then everything should work just fine. From here on out, it's simply using your actual program and choosing where you want your individual mics to go. So since I put overheads as stereo 4 input, every time I see an overhead mic, for example, I'm going to send that through 4. Every time I see a room mic, it'll go to 5. And then since I put kick, it'll be stereo 1, and then so on and so forth. So now that that's done, you should see that when I hit the uh, individual elements here, they'll be out to their separate tracks. And that's essentially it with the routing. Once you actually record, I just record the first track, the kick track. If you're going the route of having a full MIDI roll on one track, you just record or drop it in the first track with the actual contact software. And then the routing will already do its job. And when you play back, you'll see that the elements are separated and going to their individual tracks automatically. For me, Pro Tools is not my go-to as far as MIDI programming and working with it in that regard. But it is my go-to for mixing. And this is very common for me to take an existing MIDI roll, something I've either programmed in a different DAW or something that someone has given to me for a session to mix. And I'll just drop it in Pro Tools and route it in this manner so that I can have everything in one session and not have to commit to like printing it to audio or if there's little changes I want to make to the velocities or uh, placements in general, I can still do that. 
So thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful. And if there's any questions regarding the routing specifics, I'm more than happy to answer them. Just go ahead and leave it in the comments, and I'll get right to it.